Hey YouTube, video right up for the challenge Ghost Protocol from CodeFest TTF 2018. It says LS locked a flag behind a server which follows an authentication protocol given here. We're given some source code and the netcat command to connect to the remote service. The source code is just a simple Python script, um, server-side.py, downloaded it, set it up in Sublime Text. It has this, this package, this library, this module that's using called hide message. Um, some redacted lines of code here, whatever, generate random, looks like it is using a random module, okay, maybe that is probably included somehow, maybe imported either through hide message or one of these removed lines, um, puts together some random lines, send and receive functions that are again redacted, handle client connection, looks like it is just, okay, explaining the interaction when you connect to the service, and it will strip out name and nonce, I'm assuming, or nonce, <laughs> nonce for uh, a value that should not be used more than once. So, uh, given a value that's generated randomly and a nonce that's uh, encrypted, supposedly, um, you will be able to be determined as to whether or not you are authorized, and then it will give you a flag if you actually are authorized. So, looks like it will just go ahead and hide message somewhere this handle client connection is called, blah, blah, blah. So let's go ahead and interact with it. Let's create just a simple connect.sh script quick one-liner just to netcat to the service, quick and easy. Let's go ahead and mark that as connect executable. Tell me your name in secret. Let's just call it John wins. And then it gives us the nonce value here, or I'm sorry, the val that's displayed. You can check it out in the code. It will send out on the socket val with the space and the encrypted version with our nonce included. So val is peculiar because that is actually, if you checked out, the randomly generated information. So since our nonce is given and included with our encrypted portion, that it opens up a door for us to take advantage of the fact that our nonce uh, is kind of included. And because if we have the potential, like nothing is stopping us from simply connecting to this service one more time and taking advantage of that nonce value. So I have uh, a top screen and a bottom screen. Uh, top can be number one connection and bottom screen can be number two connection. So if I connect, and on both here, let's connect. Tell me your name in secret. I'm gonna remove some of those random characters there. Let's do John wins or please sub one more time. If I give this val given here, use that as the nonce for the second connection. Let's say, or actually I suppose just the, yeah, the starting portion here, because that is the that is the nonce that it receives. Check out the sublime text. Name and nonce. Okay, so that should actually be the second. Let's just say sub and then the nonce. Supplied here. Now we're given a different encrypted value. However, it's using the nonce that we had previously retrieved from the first connection. So if I give this connection the encrypted version from number two, if I give the number one connection the encrypted value from number two, it should give me the flag. In which case, it does, because I have been authenticated, again, using that nonce and putting it together. So that is the flag that we're going to end up using. We could script this if we particularly wanted to, but I think this is just fine as a simple, okay, do this one by hand, no big deal. Let's go ahead and save this flag, and then we don't need this bottom script anymore. Let's go ahead and mark this challenge as complete, and we are good to move on. So, interesting thing, if you do see a service that uses a nunce, take advantage of the fact that you can connect to that service multiple times, and then use it as like a signing service, where you have something else signed, and prove to the server that you are authenticated by taking advantage of that, the sign that it has already given you. Hopefully that's not too confusing. Quick shout out to the people that support me on Patreon. Thank you guys so much. $1 a month or more on Patreon will give you a special shout out just like this at the end of every video. $5 or more on Patreon will give you early access to all the videos that I create and before they go live on YouTube. If you did like this video, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Join our Discord server. Link in the description. It's a cool community of CTF players, programmers, and hackers. You can hang out with me and other awesome people. We'll be playing Ice CTF, Knock CTF, and a bunch of others as the comp uh, Capture the Flag competitions unroll throughout the year. It's an awesome team. Hey, I would love to see you guys on Patreon, and I'd love to see you in the next video. Thanks.